Jerry Mathers, Tony Dow, Barbara Billingsley, and Hugh Beaumont became American icons as members of one of our most popular TV families on Leave it to Beaver. Right. Rumor has it that the long-lost pilot episode features two different actors in two of the lead roles. No. We found out that in the original pilot, Beaver's brother Wally was played by Paul Sullivan, not Tony Dow. Wally? Yeah? You can ride in the seat. Don't worry, Beav. I'll ride you all over. Oh, they were much better. Ward Cleaver was not yet the domain of Hugh Beaumont. Instead, this 1957 pilot had Casey Adams as the head of the Cleaver clan. One other difference. Although there was no Eddie Haskell, there was a similar character. He was a wisecracker named Frankie, and he was played by Harry Shearer of Saturday Night Live. What are you trying to do? Give me the business? Nobody gives away bikes for bottle caps. Cleaver, you're worse than your brother. You're a creep, too. Telling him. Gee whiz, Lisa, it could have changed the whole history of that show. Gosh golly, Rob, you're <laughs> right. Now, that Lost Pilot episode will air on WTBS on October 4th. It's the first time it's been shown since 1958. Hello. This is a very special day for us. Because exactly 30 years ago, Leave it to Beaver debuted on national television. Of course, back in 1957, we had no idea that our little show would become an American institution, enjoyed by three generations. As most of you probably know, before a series ever goes on the air, an episode is made called a pilot. Ours wasn't called Leave it to Beaver. It was called It's a Small World. It never aired as part of the original series, and for many years it was feared lost until a copy was found in a film vault in Illinois. I think you'll see that all of the ideals and the warmth and humor that people associate with the original show and the new Leave it to Beaver are still present in our maiden effort. And you'll also see some familiar faces, such as Saturday Night Live's Harry Shear, along with Richard Deacon and Diane Brewster, who continued with the show right into the 80s. But there are a couple of new faces, namely the two actors who played Ward and Wally Cleaver. Now, um, I don't want to appear prejudiced, but the actor who played Wally, I mean, I thought that he had oh, a... Oh, come on, Tony, no sour grapes. I wasn't in the pilot for the new series, and everything turned out great, right? Yeah, I guess so. Right. <laughs> so for the first time in over 30 years, it's a small world. Hello? Hello? This is a very special day for us. We have a very special treat for you today. Because exactly 30 years ago, Leave it to Beaver debuted on national television. Because we're going to show you a little piece of television history. Of course, back in 1957, we had no idea that our little show would become an American institution, enjoyed by three generations. The original pilot of Leave it to Beaver. As most of you probably know, before a series ever goes on the air, an episode is made called a pilot. As most of you probably know, before a series ever goes on the air, a pilot episode is made. This is June Cleaver. Where's your new necktie? Now, oh, son, nobody steals a necktie off your neck. But I must have got it someplace. Got it? He means forgot it. Oh. Hey, don't go putting your junk in my drawer. When I got out my sweat socks this morning, they were full of raisins. These are milk bottle caps. Get a thousand, they'll come to give you a bicycle. Free. Mm. Ward. Uh-huh. We came for the bicycle. We want the red one. The bicycle? Well, boys, now what's all this about a bicycle? Would you like to ride in my wagon? Baxter speaking. Oh, oh, hello, Fred. Dad's a nice guy, though. Sure he is. It's just that he's an older person. Yeah, I guess he can't help that. I like a new bike, Frankie. Well, I just told him that to get rid of him. What are you trying to do? Give me the business? You're a creep, too. Oh, they were much cleverer than that. They came in and said they'd won a bike in a contest our company was having. How about running up and changing those shirts? Gee, Dad, we've only worn them for two days. Thank you. 